that there was an announcement about a habeas corpus application being filed. Um, we have filed that application, but the documents are not filed in the High Court, but in the Special Court. And the reason for that is that because it is a ruler that is filing proceedings, the proceedings must be filed in the Special Court. Now, the lawyers who will be representing uh, His Highness the Sultan of Kelantan in the habeas corpus application are uh, myself, Dato Param, um, uh, Mr. Gobin Singh Dio, uh, Dato Hazik, um, uh, Rashid uh, Ismail, and there is another person who is not here because he's in court, and that's Inche Malik Imtiaz. So we'll all be appearing uh, when the application is heard. Now, because the um, uh, matter is being brought to the special court, uh, we do not want to make any statement at this stage about the case or to discuss any matter arising from it. We just want to make the announcement that the case has been filed uh, and uh, leave it at that. I think you have heard, you have read news about what is happening in Kelantan, so I do not want to elaborate on that. I mean, you can, you can um, find, find out for yourself what actually is happening there. The application is for the writ of habeas corpus, which means that it seeks to uh, have the, uh, uh, the special court order the release of the sultan who is now in hospital. We uh, take the view that the sultan was in hospital under restraint. And this is why we seek his release through the order of the special court. The purpose of the application is not so that he could go to Singapore. The purpose of the application is he should not be restrained uh, to move about. Uh, not just be confined to a hospital under police uh, guard. The respondents are. Uh, who do you do that, uh, Gobin? Yeah, the respondents are the Ketua Police Kelantan, the CPO of Kelantan, the Ketua Police Negara, the IGT, the Ketua Pengarah Hospital University Science Malaysia, Kubang Krian, Kelantan. This, this is the hospital at which his highness is being uh, currently held. Uh, the Ketua Pengarah Kesihatan, the Director General of Health uh, of, uh, of Malaysia, and of course the federal government. By a ruler, as far as I know. Well, I will comment on that. This is the first time in the whole world that an application for writ of habeas corpus is being filed to release a ruler of a state from detention by the police. <laughs> 